Highway crews are shedding new light on a safety issue in Wilson County. The city of Mount Juliet is paying for an upgrade to the lighting at the Mount Juliet Road interchange on I-40. News Channel 5's Mark Bellinger was there when crews were installing and testing the new lights. Mount Juliet officials say when this interchange was built, one of the complaints they received from motorists was they couldn't see the lines on the road when it was raining, especially at night. That should change with the new state-of-the-art LED lighting at the I-40 Mount Juliet Road interchange. A contractor is installing a half dozen poles. Mount Juliet is splitting the $700,000 cost with the state. If one understands, of course, they're a lot brighter, they're a lot more efficient, and they last longer. They're definitely brighter. You could see it when crews tested the lights today in the daylight. The city plans to add landscaping to the interchange next. They feel like new landscaping coupled with the bright lighting will help Providence Marketplace and other retailers in the area. It's just going to give us life. It's going to give us some ambiance after hours. And so when people say, why do you get so excited about street lights? Well, there's a multitude of reasons why. The lighting is so much brighter, the city is looking into what it would cost to replace all of the street lights in the city with similar LED lights. The primary focus, though, is safety. This is the same interchange where crews are tackling a water drainage issue. Mount Juliet police say there have been too many accidents blamed on standing water, causing vehicles to hydroplane in the eastbound lanes of I-40. The inside lane is still closed as work continues on construction to add more drains and change the slope of the traffic lanes. Once construction is finished and new lights are added, the interchange should be much safer. Mount Juliet officials are so excited about these new lights that they're going to have a ceremony to turn them on when the construction is completed. In Wilson County, Mark Bellinger, News Channel 5. Construction on both the lights and the drainage issue on I-40 and Mount Juliet is scheduled to be completed this week.